I don't wish to speak to you, okay, or speak to any of you here, did so I'm asking you to remove yourself did from Bishop, campus. Did Bishop Boyce say that himself specifically? Um, did Bishop Boyce tell you he didn't want to speak to me? Yes. How would he do that when um, I didn't I didn't notify him that I wanted to right, speak yeah, to him? Yeah. yeah. Well, I know none of them wish to speak to you. How okay? would you know that? Because I've been informed, okay. So, Bishop Boyce informed you that he, he doesn't want to speak to me today? You can confirm that? I can confirm that. Yeah, and I didn't ask Bishop Boyce today I'm yet. I'm asking you now to remove yourself Why? from the campus because you're not, you haven't, you're not here for a, 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 any good purpose, okay? How would you know that? That's my, I'm, uh, I'm telling you. How that. would you know why I'm here? Okay. We can't hold any banners here, no. No placards in our hands? Or no placards, no, nothing no, like no. that. No, But otherwise we can stay here then? I have no difficulty with you staying here, but uh, you, you cannot display anything like that here, okay? All right. The head of Ireland's Catholic Church has defended the country's National Priest Training College after allegations of a gay subculture. It follows the Archbishop of Dublin's decision to stop sending trainee priests to Maynooth, talking about strange goings-on and claiming some students had been using a gay dating app. One former seminarian has shared his first account of what he claims was a highly charged atmosphere during his time at the college. From Maynooth, Kieran Jenkins reports. This is supposed to be a holy place. Maynooth is home of Ireland's National Seminary, where those called to the priesthood come to train. But this cloistered world is said to hold dark sexual secrets. Says who? Says the Archbishop of Dublin himself. Who knows what's really been going on here? The Archbishop says that the allegations are from letters and from blogs, and some of them he believes to be true. They are things like student priests sleeping with each other, showering with each other, and being asked inappropriate sexual questions. Other archbishops are standing by the college, but some seminarians will now be sent to Rome to study instead. And one former Maynooth trainee has this week reported allegations of sexual assault to the guardee. He's asked us not to reveal his identity. I would describe it as a very immature, hypersexualized environment. So was, was there really any real sense of celibacy at all? No. And w were people breaking their vows of celibacy? Were they having sex? Absolutely, yes. He alleges a senior priest behaved inappropriately towards him, verbally and physically. Did you feel that that was you being propositioned? Or yes. You did? Absolutely. I believed he wanted to engage in a sexual relationship with me. Did his behaviour make you feel violated? I felt utterly betrayed and disgusted and disillusioned. The ex-student priest said his concerns were not taken seriously at the time. The seminary said an independent panel didn't find a case to be answered. But in the higher echelons of the church, they're also rather worried about this. It's a gay dating app. And it's alleged that in the National Seminary, it's quite popular. There's a gay culture and that there's, uh, um, people are sexually active in the seminary. That people are on a website or uh, an app called Grindr, which is a gay dating site. Now, they're, they're totally un inappropriate uh, for seminarians. Not just because they're, uh, they're going to be celibate priests. But Grindr is, is, uh, is, is a, 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 an openness towards promiscuous sexuality, and that isn't a, a, a mature. And you know, if, if this has been going on a large scale, it hasn't been noticed in the seminary, then there's something wrong. Well, now it's clear that the Archbishop seems to think there's something pretty unholy about that particular gay dating app. I've joined it today to see if any of the trainee priests would like to talk about their experiences. Uh, within a few hours, one person claiming to be a seminarian did actually get in touch. We can't verify it, but he says, I'm a seminarian and don't think it's fair to think that this site is about sex. It is okay to talk to other gay men. I'm not going to deny it's, it's weird, but everyone's to themselves, I guess. Let, let's scrap celibacy. If they want to no, have no, sex, no, then no, have no, sex. No, 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 it should be discussed. Oh. It should be properly discussed. Roman Catholic priests should be allowed to get married and live a normal life. The president of the seminary says there's no evidence of a gay subculture. Celibacy, he said, is not up for compromise. Kieran Jenkins, Channel 4 News, Mammoth, Ireland.